Smiley from the Energy Boutique with your energy forecast for Wednesday, September 18th. Okay, so we have the moon still in this Pisces energy. Of course, we're still in the full moon lunar eclipse energy that, of course, we just had earlier today for some of us late last evening for the majority of us. Either way, we are going to have some post lunar hangover symptoms. The energy still wackadoodle, a little bit crazy, a little bit chaotic. If you were lucky enough to sleep last night, congratulations. I bet your dreams were absolutely whack. And for those of us that have been awake, well, I'm sure we are deaf. Definitely in a situation where we're feeling a little bit whiny, a little bit cry, a little bit like we want to curl up in a ball and just sit this one out. Doesn't matter where you're at on the spectrum. The emotions, the thoughts, the ideas, the circumstances, definitely a little bit interesting as of late. And of course, it's going to take some time to fully understand where this new karmic topic and theme, this new life lesson is going to carry us into 2027. Again, listen to the Astro Forecast, download your moon guide, listen to your September Zodiac Forecast, understand where all of this energy is taking place in your chart, in your life. And again, there is a special Eclipse Edition episode. If you want to do a deep dive in what we're in for from now until 2027, I encourage you to grab that particular information, focus in on it, apply it, integrate it, and definitely stay ahead of the game. Now we have this moon in Pisces. We will be shifting into a void at 5.03 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. We lock into Aries energy at 5.25 a.m. So a very short window of opportunity where things are shaky, unstable, uncertain. And of course, the transition from Pisces energy to Aries energy is always a welcome one. We are essentially bringing something to an end, to a close. And we are ready to dive into something new. That fire energy from Aries puts a little bit of pep back in our step. It's a cardinal sign. So we're ready to take action. We're ready to initiate. Although we are still in a closing chapter, a lot of the action that we are taking are to close doors or to wrap up loose ends. And of course, emotionally speaking, we are trying to put the pieces together on where it is that we have to kind of build this new goal, new vision, new dream, and a new plan on how it is that we're going to bring it to life. So there are nine different aspects taking place here today. Seven of them are going to involve the moon. The moon in Pisces energy still going to sextile, beautiful interaction with Uranus, the great awakener who is retrograde in Taurus energy. Huge part of this full moon lunar eclipse energy that we're still very much in. This sextile, though, is going to illuminate where we are having epiphanies, aha moments, connecting the dots, seeing the bigger, broader picture, where it is that we have a little bit more insight and awareness on where it is that we're holding on too tightly to what it is that we've already built and created and where it is that we can't take those particular aspects with us into this new goal, vision and dream. The moon does come up to bump into team up with Neptune, who, of course, ruled over this full moon lunar eclipse in Pisces. Neptune is retrograde in this Pisces energy at the final degrees, which means that this is a reset. We are essentially going to feel a lot of weight be lifted, emotionally speaking. We are going to feel refreshed, renewed in a lot of ways. And we are going to actively start pursuing the details that we're currently lacking, piecing things together on where it is that we're being called to build something new, to pursue something new, to actively start pursuing a new goal, new vision, new dream. Our intuition is coming in strong, although the chaos of the energy is making it very hard to actually figure out what our intuition is trying to say. Still there, it is going to take us a little bit of time to piece together these particular messages. Mercury. Ruler of the mental plane, ruler of information, communication, how it is that we express ourselves in his rulership in Virgo energy. Mercury is going to directly oppose, sit across from Saturn, the Lord of Karma, who is retrograde in this Pisces energy. We talked about this in the Astro Forecast for the full moon lunar eclipse event. Saturn, a key factor, key player under this particular, let's call it karmic shift. This is definitely going to bring a harshness, a seriousness, a somberness, not only into our mental plane, not only into our mood and our attitude. But whatever we're thinking about is getting pretty heavy, heavy, rigid. We're feeling the tension, if you will. We're trying to bridge the gap between logic and practicality and hopes and wishes and dreams. Either way, it is going to feel very tension filled to be able to understand ourselves, to be able to articulate, communicate 
our inner realm of thoughts and emotions outwardly. We could definitely have a lot of harsh communications, maybe coming off a little bit too strongly, maybe not factoring in enough emotion, maybe just critiquing, criticizing, judging, when realistically, we should be keeping those particular thoughts and opinions to ourselves until this particular eclipse energy actually passes. The moon is going to sextile Pluto, though. This is the last aspect that the moon in Pisces will be making before going void, of course. Pluto being the great transformer, he is retrograde in Capricorn energy. So we are, to a certain extent, unpacking a lot of emotional baggage. We are starting to feel empowered. We are starting to see where we have the ability to take power and control back over our lives, especially to close the door on old aspects, especially to kind of, you know, tie up those loose ends, really do what we have to do in order to leave that old version of self and the old realm and reality that that old version of self has created in the past where it belongs. 5.03 a.m. again, Eastern Standard Time. We are going void. We're locking into that Aries energy, 5.25 a.m. But we have nothing going on, okay? Very interesting dynamic. We have nothing going on till 3.52 p.m. And again, Eastern Standard Time. The moon in Aries is going to come up to bump into team up with the North Node. And of course, that North Node in Aries is trying to get us on the right path, showing us where we need to grow, where we need to heal where we need to boss up, where we need to kind of inspire ourselves to make a change and do what we need to do for ourselves first and foremost. We are definitely going to feel that pep kind of be infused back in our step, but we sit in that energy for a couple of hours and things get tension filled. Why? Well, the moon in Aries is going to get into the boxing ring, square off, create tension and conflict, really illuminating the growing pains with Mars. Mars being the god of war, ruling over our physical energy, our drive, our passion, our desire, even our anger. He's in cancer energy that he rules over the Aries energy that the moon is now in. So a lot of this is that emotionally speaking, we're ready to kind of take action. We have ants in our pants. We want to kind of move forward. We want to make some progress. We don't know where we're going, though. We don't know how we're actually going to do all of these things that are now building up inside of us. And of course, Mars and Cancer energy, not really down to initiate something new, not really down to kind of jump into a new chapter. We are about preservation here. We want to kind of build a safer, more stable, more secure place for ourselves here in this present moment before we go willy nilly and take on the roles and responsibilities of creating creating a new realm, creating a new reality. So the brakes are definitely on and we are definitely going to create some smoke with our brakes being kind of pumped at this particular point in time. Wants, needs and desires to push forward to jump into a new chapter, even though it's not time for that. Definitely going to frustrate the ever living shit rate out of us. Mercury, ruler of the mental plane, going to make a positive interaction with Chiron, the wounded healer, who, of course, is retrograde in Aries energy, helping us with this new version of self, helping us to continue this growing, healing, evolving process, even though it's hard. This particular energy is going to help us understand ourselves a little bit better, especially compared to the, let's call it mental breakdown that many of us could have earlier in the day or communication breakdown or whatever the case may be. Got very tension filled in that headspace. Now we're thinking a little bit, I'm going to say easier. We're thinking a little bit clearer. We have a greater, grander understanding at this particular juncture of where it is that that negative narrative has got to go, where it is that we have to start again, focusing on the work that we've done, focusing in on where we deserve a little bit of credit, a little bit of a pat on the back, instead of, again, picking ourselves apart, beating ourselves up and tearing ourselves down. The moon in this Aries energy going to make a beautiful interaction with Jupiter, the planet of growth, expansion, beliefs, abundance and blessings. Of course, he's in Gemini energy. We love fire and air energy working together because it is the spark of a new passion, new creative endeavor, a new epiphany, if you will. And of course, Jupiter is bringing all of the growth, all of the confidence, all of the optimism, really pushing us to see where it is that we do have options and opportunities now that we didn't know that we had just a couple of days ago. And emotionally speaking, we're bold, we're brave, we're courageous, we're ready to try one of these new paths, this new direction, this new topic, theme, this new idea, this new option, this new opportunity, with as much of a hopeful outcome as you could possibly have. You don't know until you try. And this is definitely the type of mood, the vibe that we are in. 
The last thing that we have going on here today is the moon in this Aries energy, making a beautiful interaction with Pluto. Pluto is the great transformer. He's retrograde in Capricorn energy. We are really rearing to go. We're tapping into our warrior spirit. We are, again, feeling the pep in our step. We are starting to in get inspired, excited to pursue something new. We're having a major shift in our mood and our attitude for the better. We're bossing up in ways that we were hesitant to do even earlier on in the day, let alone compared to this time last week, this time last month. We are starting to see where this new version of self is really taking hold, really getting anchored in. We're feeling more encouraged, more supported, not only by the positive narratives that we're trying to anchor in, but by the universe that we again are relearning in how to trust. So we definitely have a lot of unwinding to do, of unpacking to do coming out of this full moon energy. Again, we are eclipsed to the real truth, to the real reality, to the real perspective. It's going to take us a while to kind of connect the dots here. But nonetheless, we are definitely going to feel the dramatic shift in our mood and our attitude, especially later on in the day for the positive.